All right, guys, so I want to recap a little bit about what we talked about today in class about creating a simple viewer slideshow. So the first thing you wanna do is download the slideshow plugin. And like I said, every time you restart your computer in the computer lab, you're going to have to do this. Um, the easiest way would be to follow the link that's on my site. Um, and it's right here, simple viewer slideshow, and click the Photoshop plugin link right here. And you wanna download uh, the link underneath the Photoshop CS4 or CS5 header. So I'm going to click that. Over here. Once this downloads, uh, we're going to double click it. It's an MXP file. And that doesn't really mean much, but that's just the type of file uh, that Photoshop uses for plugins. So once uh, you double click that, it brings up Adobe Extension Manager. And I'm using CS5, you guys have CS6, that's not really a huge deal or a big difference, uh, especially for this example. But if I'm ever doing a tutorial where that is, I will, I will definitely point that out. So I'm gonna click Accept here. And once it gets to this point, uh, it has installed the Simple Viewer correctly. And just to check, we can open up uh, Photoshop. And I have it mounted down here on the dock, but if you don't, you can go over to Finder, uh, Applications, and then find Photoshop in your applications list and open it that way as well. Minimize this. All right, so once Photoshop opens up, um, I'm gonna minimize Extension Manager here. Okay, so once Photoshop opens up, uh, you can check to see that the extension was uh, successfully installed by going up to File, Scripts, and now you should have this option here called Simple Viewer. So we'll open that up here uh, in a second once we're done with our photos. Uh, but now you know that Simple Viewer has been installed and is ready to use. So in the meantime, I put a folder of photos on my desktop. And I'm going to go into Finder, Applications, and open up Adobe Bridge as a way to go through those photos. And I just put 10 photos in this photo folder, so I'm just going to pick the best eight. So once Adobe Bridge is opened up, I'm going to grab the photo folder and I'm going to dock it here. And once it turns to that green plus symbol, uh, you just let go of the mouse. And now it is in my uh, dock on the left side. And I can see all the photos here that are in my folder. Um, so you can go through these with your arrow keys, just kind of toggling through. Uh, if you select more than one, it's going to show up in the preview window over here. And, it, and the uh, modules are pretty flexible, so you can change them as you, as you wish. Um, you can also change the view. I'm in Essentials view. You can go to Film Strip view, which may be easier. Uh, it's a little simpler of layout, um, and you can go through it this way. So I'm just going to rate these uh, as a way to, to make it easier to sort them. And uh, you could do this by, once you've clicked on the photo, you can go up here to Label, and you can give it a star rating. Or what I'd prefer is to hold down the command button and press either command 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 to give it the corresponding number of stars. So I'll just quickly do that here. Okay, so I'm done uh, putting the star values to each of the photos. And I'm going to go up here to this little star button and I'm just going to click to show three or more stars. And that's going to eliminate two of the photos that I didn't think were very strong. So now I have the eight photos that I want to turn into this slideshow. You can see I have five stars, three stars, five stars, five stars, and so forth. Um, I'm going to uh, put these in the order that I want them to be displayed in the slideshow. And then I'm going to rename them based on that order. So I want this gondolier first, so I'm going to click and drag this guy to the front. Uh, maybe I want this tower second, I'll do the same thing. And put this gondolier third, and let's just say that's the order. So this guy's going to be the first photo in the slideshow. This building will be the last. Once I get the order how I want it, I'm going to select all of these photos. and they'll, they'll show up that they're selected. And I want to go up to Tools and Batch Rename. And once the Batch Rename box opens up, I'm going to click Copy to Other Folder. And I'm going to create another folder within the main folder of my photos. And I'm just going to call this Best Of and choose that folder. And then down here, it gives you a bunch of options. Uh, you can sort it by date. You can sort it by uh, different text um, options. 
I'm going to delete the date and delete this text option. And I'm just going to call this photo underscore. And sequence number, I'm going to change this to three digits and just keep that at one. And you can see this is the current file name, and this is what it's going to change it to. So I'm going to click Rename. And then when I check back here in Photos, best of, here are the photos that I just renamed. And you can see here that the, the titles correspond with my naming convention. All right, so now I'm going to minimize Bridge, open back up Photoshop, and now I'm going to actually use Simple Viewer. So I'm going to click File, Scripts, Simple Viewer. And the Simple Viewer window pops up. And the first thing it needs to know is what photos it's going to use to make this slideshow. And that's here in the Input folder. So I'm going to click Browse and find that Best Of folder right here. And once I click on that folder, I'm just going to click Open. And then it needs an Output folder. And just to keep things clean, I'm going to keep that in the same photos folder as the best of. So we'll just call that slideshow. And I'll click open. And so if you, if you don't want to change any of the options, you certainly don't have to. Um, the only one I would recommend changing is gallery title. And you could put your last name and photos. So you could keep the height and width the same, uh, the text color, background color, all of that's fine. So the next thing you want to do is click build web gallery. And it's going to think for a second kind of freak out, and then it will load your gallery. And here it is. And this is the order that I place them in within Bridge. And I can scroll through with my arrow keys, or I could just click through. And if I move this aside, you'll see that here um, in the Photos folder, I have the raw files here, the best of images right here, and the slideshow right here. And index.html is the file that actually plays the slideshow. But all of these elements are needed to actually play it. Just index.html is the one you double click to load it. So when you're turning in your slideshow project, you want to make sure that you turn in this entire slideshow right here. And you, you definitely want to rename it so that it is your name so that I can tell everybody's a part. But Zaleski slideshow. And you would turn this folder into my server, um, or for the time being, on your public.html server. Uh, but for right now, that's how you create the Simple Viewer slideshow, and that's how you rename photos with Adobe Bridge. And I'll get back to you guys in the next couple days about uh, the proper steps on how to upload that to my server.